Hey there, Sharon Horn Elsham here. Today is day 10 of our No Nonsense November, where we share a, a lesson learned, a life lesson, something that I've learned over the last 61 years. Yep, been here 61 plus years and uh, made a lot of mistakes. I mean, I don't know very many human beings that can say, oh, I've lived my life perfectly. I've never made any mistakes because if you have never made any mistakes, you probably haven't learned very much along your journey. And I can, with all humility and gratitude say I have made millions of mistakes in my life but hopefully I've learned from the majority of them I know that I like every other human being see patterns of behavior where I make a mistake and I don't learn the lesson and so then I make another semi-related mistake but slightly different and I don't learn the lesson then I make a slightly different version of that mistake again and maybe I learned the lesson the third time around but sometimes some things it's taken 10 or 20 or 30 or maybe even thousands of little mistakes to learn the lesson. So in November, I like to reflect on and think about what's what's worked out for me really, really well. What is continuing to work out for me? What serves me well? And then share that with you. So today I want to talk about something that's relatively new in my repertoire. I think I just started talking about it and thinking about it a couple of months ago. And it is what I call single daily action, SDA, single daily actions, things that we do every day or once a day that actually have a huge impact on our life, a huge impact on the quality of our life, a huge impact on how we feel, what we say, what we do, how we behave, who we are becoming by doing one thing a day. It's kind of like the whole domino theory where you line up a whole bunch of things and then you knock down that first domino and then every day is like a domino automatically knocking down because you do your single daily action and you don't really have to consciously think about it you just make it a habit and a routine and something that you do every day for example we talked about gratitude what a couple of days ago gratitude is a huge big domino I don't know if you know it or not it's a huge just like forgiveness forgiveness and gratitude are huge dominoes that we don't even realize the positive impact they have on our life if we just practice them every day. So single daily action is finding the thing for you, the one thing for you that you do every day that makes a huge difference in many areas of your life. Probably not just one area or aspect of your life, but maybe in many areas of your life. With respect to health, it might be you commit to drinking eight glasses of water every day or the right amount of water <coughs> excuse me or hydration for you maybe if it's worth with respect to your spiritual health or spiritual well-being you do uh, maybe you do a prayer every day or a or affirmations or something that feed your soul and your spirit every day emotionally mentally um, financially with respect to relationships uh, and contribution what you're here for what you're here in the world for if you do and if and and what I like is why I like gratitude and forgiveness and things like that, or focusing on what I want, or visioning or meditation. Why I like all those things is I can do those once a day, and they can impact many of the areas and aspects of my life, not just one. Now, however you'd like to, to think about your life or break your life down is entirely up to you. I use a framework that I learned, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, believe it probably came from Jim Rohn originally. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, once you study a lot of gurus and a lot of personal development people and a lot of leaders and a lot of um, wise people, you start to mush everything together and you forget where the first original source of it was. I mean, I've been setting goals and doing things based on this particular framework, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, for at least 40 years. So whether it was Tony Robbins I first learned it from, who got it from Jim Rohn or got it from that could be Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, all those guys, Napoleon Hill. I don't know. But it's a combination of something that I've used for a really long time and I forgot where it came from. But it works for me and it serves me. And what I do is I break down each of these areas. I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but I have lifelong legacy goals in each of these areas. And then I break them down into little bitty pieces and smaller and smaller chunks. I like to call it chunking. I chunk my goals and, and make them smaller. What do I need to do? This period of time might be this quarter, this month, this day, this week. What do I need to do to feed into and make sure that that goal is going to happen? And it's, it's worked really, really well for me. And that has broken down to this single daily action. If I can find one thing or a handful of things 
that I can work into my life, my daily life that I call single daily actions that automatically move me toward those legacy goals and objectives. That is like the holy grail for me. So again, I have single daily actions that I do in terms of gratitude, in terms of forgiveness. And forgiveness I don't do every day. I do it when it comes up. Or purposefully, once a week, I'll think about what and who and what situations I need to let go of and forgive. So forgiveness isn't daily. Gratitude is definitely daily. What am I thankful for? What's working out? What's not working out? What could be better than it is right now? But I'm looking for those big things that are, that are little things. They're big impact, little things that I can do every single day. That's what a single daily action is. And again, it's, it's something I've just started consciously being aware of in the last few months. It's, I think probably August or so as part of the Get Up and Go Challenge, I started thinking about the whole single daily action, annual challenge, single daily action. How does this help us to create a big thing that we want in our life? painlessly and almost effortlessly and automatically by just automatically building this into our daily routines. It's like brushing your teeth, right? You brush your teeth every day automatically. You don't really have to think really long and hard about whether you're going to brush your teeth or not. You just do it. And what does that lead to? Good dental hygiene, good health in, in every area and aspect of your life, not just your teeth, but your teeth for sure. And you just you do it every day without thinking about it. We want to find things that have a good positive impact on us that we just automatically do every day and we don't have to think long and hard about them. So if you've got a single daily action or some that you do, share in the comments below so we can help one another and learn from one another. Uh, I have lots of them these days because I've been really wanting to create them and wanting to figure out and test and try and see what works in my life and what doesn't. I'm actually doing a single daily action to figure out next year's annual challenge. I want to do something different next year and so I've actually been practicing the thing every day to see if it's really the thing I want to do next year or not. I haven't 100% decided, pretty much thinking I've decided, but I haven't 100% committed to that that's going to be the thing. But uh, that's that's how I decide is I, I do a single daily action by practicing it every day to say, is this something I want to commit to doing every day next year? And if it is, great. And uh, Pretty sure it's going to be because it's had a positive impact on me already. And anything that has a good positive impact and moves me in the direction I want to go, I want to keep doing those things. Things that don't or don't feel good to me, I want to stop or not do those things or choose not to participate. All right, any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with day 11 of our No Nonsense November. Have an absolutely fabulous day.